center of Cairo, talks between them and the government have stalled over demand for President Hosni Mubarak leave office immediately. Representatives of the government hinted that the army may step in if the demonstrators refuse to negotiate. Meanwhile, Egyptian farmers and industrial workers launched strikes of their own, compounding a disruption to Egypt's economy that's estimated to be costing more than $300 million a day. NPR's Mike Quintock reports from Cairo. Thousands of demonstrators continue to crowd Tahrir Square, and they seem to be trying to reflect their diversity, from farmers in weather-stained robes to professionals in crisp suits. 59-year-old Galal Arif says he works as a manager for an American company. He says it's only his second time in the square, where he thought at first he'd see a revolution of Egypt's poor. Instead, he says, he's met Egyptians from all walks of life. Egyptian people from all Turn the folks at home your butt. There it is. Demonstration has become a peace revolution. While this 